Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jakey here for another reaction and today I'm reacting to season one, episode four of Agatha All Along. Now, what happened in the last episodes, we, uh, episode, we had a trial. Um, it was them in a nice little beach house. They are having hallucinations. Find out Agatha uh, possibly more than likely gave up her child, Nikki. Well, I'm assuming it's Nikki for the Book of the Dams, the Darkhold. Um, People had other visions. It got quite spooky very quickly. And then, <clears throat> and then, yeah, and we finished a trial, but at a cost. My chair's going down already, guys. No way is it going down already. Uh, at a cost, yeah, we lost Sharon. Well, we lost Sharon for now. Listen, I think she was a fun character. I think she was sweet. She was all, I don't think we should lose her. I think we might end up finding again her back at some point, whether that's straight into this episode or later on. I think that losing a character like Sharon, someone who is not a witch, uh, and none of the witches early on is kind of a cheap shot. <laughs> Do you think so? I understand like, it's the witch's road, it's only for witches, but it's like, bring along another witch that has power just to kill her. Don't bring on this old woman who I fell in love with straight away. Uh, but yeah, my chair's falling down already so much. But yeah, so this is a Sharon Stan household uh, and channel. So... If anyone's here hoping she's dead, get the fuck out. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that's where we ended. We're, we're Agatha going, who? When she was like thinking who who was Sharon, you know? Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to the next episode. I'm ready to jump into it. Uh, I've got myself a Guinness. So uh, I've worked seven days in a row and uh, I have a day off tomorrow. So I might as well do this now before uh, I, get, I get a moustache. See? Yeah, so I'm going to do the outro like this, guys. So I hope I enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. And if you do, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. That'll be soup boy. Well, then that. See you on the other side. It's already absorbed a little bit. Look at it. Oh, look at drip. Oh, my God. That's horrible. That's disgusting. Oh, I'm a slob. Why is so much happening? Oh, blah, blah, blah. If I can't reach you, let my song teach you. <sighs> I mean, I normally enjoy, enjoy the titles, but then I'm seeing stuff like this. I am furious. Sharon! I didn't think you had it in you. <sighs> Don't praise her now. I didn't think you would want to know. Be respectful. For all we know, her mother died on the road, too. My mom did die on the road. Oh, let's hold out hope a little bit. We don't know that for sure. Thank you. She could. She died on tour. Hotel fire. Oh, so, so it's all a lie. If you're not trying to find her, I, she said the road would save me. Oh, she's following her her words. Save her from the curse that follows all the women in her family. Uh, R.I.P. Mrs. Hart. <laughs> it's not even her real name. Shall we? <laughs> absolute fucking savage. Oh. Ugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Come crawling back. Now, a woman and Alice and Tien are kindly digging a grave for her. So they'll catch up when they can. Oh. oh. No. Oh, I love her. She's such a bastard. Mrs. Hart was setting aside your staggering callousness. We yeah, she's so the issue of our greedy for it. Oh. How many witches left the road with you last time? They, none of them, because no witches did. No, she didn't do it. We That's a fucking lie. We would not have survived the last trial. Mrs. Hart drank two glasses of the poisoned wine. How many doses of the antidote did she Oh, get? shit. Witch. Oh shit, maybe. Well, it's everybody's fault. That as well. We were supposed to look out for each other, but we didn't. Gotta keep our composure! That was fatal for Mrs. Hart. Oh. <laughs> I wish we could go home. We summon a back. Oh Christ, is this where we're bringing in Rio? There is so and by extension, we're rule breakers? Right? Just a bad just bunch of apples. And specific. May she be strong and wise, and the best at her craft. Oh, okay. Who's gonna be summoned? 
May she be smart and not annoying. And also not super political. <laughs> Can she bring some Advil? <laughs> These are the worst fucking wishes in the world. The spell must marinate. Gestate. Jesus fucking Christ. What's going on? No. Is that you? There's that little bit of hope I had there. Little bit. That she was alive. Oh, you? I was in There's a little bit of hope. Little bit. That it was her. Fuck! That's my fault, probably. Morgan, it's. Surprise. My lady. <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you hate her so? What's up? I'm Rio. <laughs> not in the wake of Mrs. Hart's death, please. So I'm still not over it. More a thick green witch. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 just right there. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, the eccentricness of uh, Aubrey Plaza really does suit so this show. So dangerous but charismatic. So what do we think? Can we trust her? Nope. We know nothing about her. No, Agatha. Just Hayes look at her alone. <laughs> yeah, but if Agatha hates her, how de yeah, deceiving. Right. Can she actually be? Right? That's what's quite appealing about her. I'm not gonna lie. Here we go again. Here's another trial. Here's another door. And now we're Mrs. Heartless. Eh, okay. Bye. That must be something to do with Mama Bear. What a transition! Oh, what a door! The, the decor! I love it! Oh, I, what a door! I, what a look! Oh! Don't drink anything. Oh! Oh! Yes! I adore this! Oh, get us now! Feels like there's a story there. Oh, she looks so good. Oh my god, she looks so good as well. Every, does everyone look so good? I mean, seriously, we're an album cover He looks great. The road changes for the cover. What happens next? No cheating this time. What? Like a riddle or a kickoff for this one, too. I don't think Agatha wants to leave this mirror. <laughs> the tension's too much between these two. My goodness, it's too much. No. Oh! Oh my god, the sexual tension! Listen, okay, listen. We didn't get the sexual tension with Mrs. Hart, which is fine, I'm happy with. But do I sacrifice this? I don't know what this is. For Mrs. Hurt? Probably. I want Mrs. Hurt back. Sharon! She's looking very much like, um... Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli. She's acting her ass off like Liza Minnelli as well. She was trying to open the road, wasn't she? With her concerts. Oh, shit. Really? Her fans were her coven. Oh, that's huge! That's a huge coven! Which is it? Am I wispy or am I kooky? Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Listen. Alice. So she's, um... Don't what? Don't what what? Oh, God, because she, she's... Uh, what's she, she can... I swear, she's not clairvoyant. What's her title again? That's something I worked out, slash people helped me work out. When she kept the blurring stuff out, I was like, what? What is this woman's deal? And it's because she can sort of almost see the future, but not. But she's so. She's 
it's getting mixed up. So I can't work out if she is now saying stuff that's going to appear in the future or if it's going to be stuff from the past. I don't know. Because because uh, Agatha in episode one is like, so what? So you're a little kooky. So I don't know if that if she said that then or if that sort of happens. If you, I don't know, man. But I'm worried. Knock, knock. You're just everywhere. How's the... Who are these people? Oh, they're my new best friends. <laughs> you best believe it. I'm feeling impatient. I'm feeling like I want to cause some damage. Oh! Oh! It wasn't that was kind of hot. <laughs> Just one more. I, could venture I don't think she can do it. I don't think she can do a truce. Work and play. Could be nice. Right? Oh! What happens next? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want Pleasure. watching you do what you do best. Kill all the witches around you. Oh, oh shit. You get your power. Hey, that's my coven you're talking about. I'm not that kind of witch anymore. <laughs> you smart fucker. I know it. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's so on point. Yes, yes, yes. The funky transition. We've been cursed. Oh! I was really taken aback by that funky, not funky, but that transition of the. No, well, the transition and then the zoom up. I was a bit sort of like, oh, that's old school. That's an old school sort of zoom up there into it, into her face. And then we've been cursed. Well, fucking how? I just, yeah. Oh no! No! Oh, is that a metronome or whatever it's called? I think this means the trial started. She's a tourist. She's a psycho. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Huh? Oh. Huh? Oh. 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 What is happening? Oh. All right. Circle oh. stops you from dying. That's good to know. I need you to draw one of those circles around me. <laughs> so, uh, breaking a curse. Oh god, circular, 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 get a circle. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh god. It's great camera work there. <gasps> uh... What is that? That's the curse. <laughs> Oh, this camera work. I'm loving it. I didn't think it was real. I thought it was me. That it's my fault. So the curse is the one that her mother was on about. I couldn't see her. Oh, sweetness. She passed on to you. It's fine. If anything, she couldn't save you. myself they were birthmarks is that the actual curse marks even though she had the same ones wait oh well that's that very good convincing curse? isn't it I'm sorry. looks like we're gonna have to remove the curse one by one oh. why was that different from the others blessings and burdens alike not a lot of blessings for this <laughs> Is he, okay? he looks real good with that hair, by the way. He's rocking this look. We have to play Lorna's ballad. <gasps> oh my God! As a as a group, yes, 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 yes. Jam, 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 jam. What did Lorna want from the road? The road will save you. She even said it. To save her daughter. Thank you. Somewhere, someone is playing that song that you hate so much. And that's what's keeping her alive? Is a protection. Oh my god, so it protects her whilst the curse actually is supposed to kill you. 
you. Oh, Lorna, you absolute queen. I studied the Zills and a little pan flu. <laughs> Jed, LA. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is I play guitar. useless. Okay, great. Jed, you're on bass. I'm still in the circle. <laughs> oh, what do you know? Zills, play it right, play it well, and maybe we won't die. Oh, I'm so excited for this, guys. So fucking excited. Oh, you have to keep playing through the pain. Oh, this is different now. Of all that's foul and fair, our love was Look at her. Yes, lean into this fucking campness. Yes, even more so. <laughs> Such a useless instrument. Oh, nice! Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm liking the editing. Very 70s. It's got a triangle now! Who gave her a triangle? Oh my god, another version of this song. We're just eating well. Oh my god, this is so... Cringy, I love it. <laughs> what? That's not the curse, is it? Oh, you grotesque looking thing. Yes, you can. Get in there. Oh, snarly. Oh my god. Oh no, don't let go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Do it. Oh, lovely stuff. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, fucking A, that was good. I really enjoyed that. This was not the episode I expected it to be. Really did not expect it. Where's Sharon? <laughs> oh. Getting inside the piano doesn't actually is no way. That's awesome. That's so cool. Oh, what happened, what happened to him now? We can't be losing everyone every single time. What happened to him? Why are you bleeding? How did you bleed? Oh, through the window. He's young. He's strong. Don't. Uh, you didn't put this emotion in for Sharon. Why do you care so much? Why is she looking at her so like? What's Earth got to do with this? Three of Swords. Wolnus, Abakwa, Kuare. Three of Swords? Well, that's just lucky, isn't it? Why did we think about this when it came to Sharon? It was a trap. I still. Don't know how he did it. Bound me without magic. Oh, without magic? What? Without magic? What? Okay, we need to find out how. Part of me hoped that the road wasn't real so I could stay angry. <laughs> because now you know it was all for you. And that makes you sad. That's a beautiful mama bear. Sad is better than angry. Mm-hmm. Preach it, sister. That we've all got an extra nipple. That's one Some of them? Some have extra nipples. I'm covered in nipples. <laughs> you want to see? Yes. <laughs> yes. Please, Audrey Plaza. <laughs> Still alive. Why is it that you care so much? A sigil works on the witch who cast it as well. That's why we don't use them as much. They're super irritating. <laughs> I can see why. Good. Sigils are destroyed, not lifted. So before you ask how, in the thank you, little thank you. Yours, answer is when they're no longer needed. 
Oh, enough of your riddles. God damn it. You don't have to know a person's name to know who they are. Careful you don't say something like that. Yeah, that's shocking. It makes me sick. Ugh, Agatha. What really happened to your son? <sighs> well, that's a heavy question. That's a heavy question. Uh, you're not going to get an answer for fast. either. We're not oh, she did not like that at all. You overstepped. Any connection you thought you had, it's gone now. At least for a little bit. Check this out. Vampire bite. Oh, vamp... Right before, I knocked out his other <laughs> As I say, vampires confirmed, but didn't... Didn't uh, She-Hulk confirm vampires? Was that the first time? I feel like there was a... There was... Was it vampire... Vampires? Vampire bats in... I can't remember. No. Something definitely confirmed vampires. Let me know! Please, thank you. But now? Huh? <laughs> Lilia! <laughs> Where do you go? <laughs> That's a very good question. Where does she go? Where is he? Mouthy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> here are the Daughters of Liberty. Uh-uh. No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I've got a star. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Oh, no. She doesn't like the fact that they like Agatha. No. Time ago, I loved someone. I had to do something that I did not want to do, even though it was my job. Oh, what? It hurt them. What? She is my scar. <sighs> Tell us your past, people. I want to stretch my leg. I think Rhea wants to spread them. I don't know if I feel good about that joke. I've forgotten what you said in the sound bus. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. A hug. I mean, yeah, I I'd embrace as well. Agatha. Ah. Uh? That boy isn't yours. Oh, um, why would you ruin the hope she may have? Actually, no. Probably best to tell her now. Probably best to tell her now. But whose boy is he? Oh. Sorry, are we... I thought we established Sharon's coming back. Is that... Is that me? Where the fuck is she? Where? Sharon! And that, guys, my reaction to Agatha All Along, Season 1, Episode 4. Um, that was great. Uh, okay. I say great. I really enjoyed it. Okay. I think great was I, I the second episode, pushing the third. I really enjoyed this one. Not was I expecting. Was not expecting another ballad of the same song. Well, yeah, another different version of the ballad of the same song. Um, it was fun. It was uh, intriguing. It was brief. It felt quicker than the other episode, whereas I think there was the same runtime. So I'm not too certain about why that was. Maybe because we dealt with one scenario pretty much, which was, right, we're in this house. There's a bit of a curse going on. What do we do? Sing a song. Done. I guess maybe that's why I felt quicker, but it wasn't. <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I really, I, I, I did enjoy it. It was, it was fun. It was a great feel to it. I uh, I imagine we get more songs. I know more versions of the same song. You could just like you, so you could release an album of the same song. A um, lot more reveals. A lot more uh, uh, sort of development of characters and and uh, their relationships, especially with uh, with Agatha and Rios. Um, but yeah, I was really happy with that episode. Um, Again, it, it's the not middle mark, it was kind of middle because it's nine episodes a season. So, but we're at the 
middle mark of her... L- no, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, you know what I mean. Like it, it, it's um, yeah, it's at the middle mark. So it, it, it's now. I think, I think the next episode it might kick up a gear because that's the middle of it, and then you have to keep on building, uh, like towards it. I think we've had now had two trials, and we still have uh, three to go, and there's at least how many episodes? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not five episodes left. So yeah, so I'm interested. To see where we go with it further on. But yeah, overall enjoyed it. I'll go through the notes quickly. I, I didn't write too many notes. Um, again, because it was like kind of set in the same like sort of area. Was it like sort of like scene? Not scene, that location is probably the best way to put it. But, um, but yeah, I'll just go through them. Um, the burial for Mrs. Hare. Okay, I'm going to touch on it briefly. I thought we might get Mrs. Hare back. Especially with the zombie thing almost. The fake out. Very much thought we were going to get her. But... Yeah, sorry, but that's someone's at my door. Um, yeah, the fake out. As much as I love, again, I love, <laughs> I love, uh, having Aubrey Plaza as uh, Rio, and its development of their relationship and development of a story, and it seems romantic slash aggressive slash sexy slash like hate filled, but so it seems it's got so many layers to it. Um, but yeah, um. I mean, Sharon, I need the Sharon back. I mean, I still hold out hope, but... Again, right now, like I said to myself, I feel like it might have felt like a cheap one to be like, oh, we can't cheat death, so let's throw a human person in there and be like, death? Well, see the wish. I, I, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like saying that Sharon had to make it to the end. <laughs> I do. I wanted to survive, actually. But, you know... But then it also kind of just shows the savagery of Agatha, to be honest, how everything's going on. Like, we saw the opening her sort of like, oh, yeah, nope, she's buried, mm, let's, let's move on. So I guess the, the Sharon not returning, because uh, it makes it more final. If this is, if it's, that's if that kind of is how they're going for more of the savagery of the character, that it is all down to Agatha just being a sack of shit why she's dead and doesn't care, then yeah. But it was a sad moment. Um... A somewhat mourning I wrote down here because people were somewhat mourning they were but also at the same time didn't really know too much but again they've lost a witch on the road you know she was an honorary witch um <clears throat> but yeah um but yeah I like the fact that they weren't just sort of getting on with it um that whole situation with them go like right we need to summon someone like I said it's that that moment of could I possibly have zombie Sharon or just Sharon in general? Nope. Out comes Rio. The fact that she's come out of a grave where the body of Rio is. I don't know what Earth has to do with. Uh, I mean, listen, our bodies become the Earth anyway. Or the nutrition of Earth. Whatever way you want to look at it, we, we decompose and we become the soil. But what is that? Is that whether Rio is. Was that sort of thing, uh, thing for do do her to Earth? Because again, there was hints later on where she may not just be Earth or another version of Earth. But the fact is that she's now like reliant on, not reliant, but asked, like making comments and looking towards her, like there's more that she can do. Because again, Earth, I guess maybe if you think about it, maybe creates life, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, but the whole summoning thing was great. Um, the se- sexual tension between them. Listen, it was felt in the first episode, and then out she comes now, in the fourth, and it's and it's not just it's felt between. It is listen every scene they're in where she's with him, it it feels it, and I think Aubrey Plaza has this great medium to be able to do seriousness, whilst also just leaning into what she what we got from her from Parks and Rex, which was you know, psychotic, <laughs> which is like crazy characters, very good at that. But again, she have a series, but then underline it with that she can have these moments where she can, what's that I'm looking for? Be sexual, I guess. Be sexual. Again, again, again all be plans for me, I, she pops up here and there in different things, uh, especially when I was a, a, a teen growing into a man. Uh, but I'd say the biggest thing I knew her in was like biggest one consistently was Parks and Rec. And she didn't have a, she was, she was crazy, 
she was, but she was also fun and can have a serious moments. But n- her relationship with Andy was never really uh, sexy, <laughs> which is uh, which I never really got from her as a person. But lo and behold, here we are looking at her with Agatha, and it's like right, right, okay. The backstory between them, where like you know, when people sort of like, well, it's my ex. Oh God, we have some past between us, and it just eh? this one's like there is a fire in them both of them for that they that stills burn for desire but somehow it's extinguished you know so it's it's it, it's it, it's a great dynamic and it's great to see it in this you know it, it it works it really does work and in fact it's a coven as well it's it's all ladies things are gonna happen you know <laughs> you know but like again the more it, it, it feels like it's deeper than a sexual thing it, it there's layers so many layers just from their scenes alone i really enjoy their relationship that they at least they're portraying here um but i've seen the house and not been able to turn away with now we're in the i believe it to be the 70s uh going by the decor the uh hair the makeup the outfits it looks great great door let's not fucking forget that door that was great i'm also gonna have a sip of guinness Oh, great. That's great. Sorry. I just took it out of the freezer, so it's freezing cold. Huzzah. Um, really, I, I, I think, like Agatha, not Agatha, like WandaVision, the set design, sec, uh, the set designers, the the uh, costume I and mean, hair and makeup, uh, props team, everyone like that is going to have an absolute blast with this series. They probably fucking hate it at the same time because they're having to do so much, but... The fact is, we're going through different eras, different decades, different things. Started off a beach house, then into like a 70s sort of recording studio. Now we're then, who knows what the next episode is, but it looks, it looked real good. It looked fantastic to see. And I love the fact that we found, find out more to do with, to do with um, Alice's mother. How, I love the fact that her coven was her followers, her, her fans. They, she sang that every night on the road, literally on the road, about the road. And her followers were all singing as well. That was her coven. That's outstanding. That's probably the biggest coven that there's ever been, I guess. Because if you think about a coven, a coven only needs five or six. Well, five in this case. But imagine someone that is on tour. No, like, that's a celebrity. It's going to be huge. So, but I really like the fact that her coven was her fans. That moment between Lilia and, uh, and Alice where she does have the burst out of the bed, good line to do with the kooky. And uh, she's, again, where she stands, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. But it's not fully being made a thing of just yet, which is a great, I guess, but it is going to. put Things are going to pop up here and there. I wouldn't be surprised if next episode, if it be, now that we've had Alice and we've had uh, Jen, they're not going to do Rio or Agatha in the next episode. So it will be uh, Lilia that's next. So I'm very much interested. And I'd imagine that's when shit hits the fan to do with what she is seeing or possibly hearing, you know. Um, but yeah, that was great. Again, that moment where Agatha lures in Rio with the sort of like the flirtation, the sit down, sort of like make her to feel like there's possibly more to it again whilst also not knowing that she's going to just plant the seed to be like oh my god like sort of like put the microphone down just to get her reveal shit Rio not being that bothered by it as well just be like yeah I don't give a shit you know this is what I'm into so fuck it like I think that was a great great scene feeling again the tension between them they did so good this episode to build that up at points sporadically even just a shot of her looking at looking at her or say yeah they did so well um the song actually okay we're gonna talk about this uh it, it being all about alice's curse of course it had to be it was mentioned at points and it was obviously to be a bit thing now the song gets played fast but the curse is on everyone it's around to get everyone I love the fact that it was actually the song itself was a protection spell. That is fucking unreal. Love that. It was, it's just, it's just a lovely little touch rather than it be like, rather than it be just like a song that gets them there or, or, you know, something that's like damaging to, to, to like, 
build the road. This one was different. And this one was different because it was specifically protect her door. She knows there's a curse. It's been passed down. The fact that she had the same birthmarks and convinced herself. it was, No, sorry. The same birthmark. The same markings. And thought, this is a birthmark. Then, let's read this. But for her mother to be able to go, the only thing I really can do is to do a protection spell that is going to be sang every single day. And it may help other people like sort of find the road but i assure you every time that this song is sung you are protected you are still alive you're still going it is beautiful love that um the song the song itself um was great it was funky it was good love the editing in that song choice again there's cut shots side by side very 70s as it's going through up and down that's right i i i thought it was great uh <clears throat> can work out if that one was at the start i felt like the song was actually done on set and then it may have then turned into it you know, more like it did turn into actually them in a the recording studio um but yeah really enjoyed this version of it prefer the other one for dramatic reasons uh but for what i know i'll listen to this one again and i'll be like yeah this is my fave but i thought that was great that then the demon appearing and looking at it is i honestly thought we might get more with that demon Again, this one didn't really have that much horror elements other than the fact that it was a demon. And that's, I guess, kind of fine. It was a bit kind of spooky, but I think if we wanted to make a spookier, I would have preferred it more. If there was more creepiness to it in the build-up and during, I'd be all over that. For that reveal, it was just there like, oh, there's the curse. It looks like this. But alas, it was... Oh, we got Americans. Oh, we've been thrown around. Oh, let's play this. Oh no, if they re if they knelt it the fact that it was like um it was invisible, like um like Predator. And and the fact that like they didn't play on that that much, other than throwing people around a little bit again. So I I just felt like we could have played one very much like a paranormal activity sort of thing, you know? That's that's what I would have really enjoyed. That sort of the the sound of things getting closer and around you. Because then they were like, "Can you hear that?" And suddenly it's like, "Oh, I can hear something." You know, I would have preferred if they played that more with the camera work, with people slowly get. I I think that's me, because that's what I prefer. But you know, maybe it wasn't there for the story to be told for what they wanted to tell. But I think I would have preferred it that way, just to build up the the tension more. And then to then have, like, literally, to have it like that. Imagine it's so creepy that you're like, oh, my God, this is so scary. Then suddenly it's like, we need to defeat it with song. And then it just changes. That, that change would have been even better, you know? Um, but, like, yeah, the curse, the, the the design of the curse looks great. Just wish it could have been, just wish I had more time with it, you know? Um, teen bleeding and then being healed. Thank God Jen's back. She's got her power. She's got her ability to heal again. In fact, how you capture Moonlight, I guess they just did it in the Moonlight. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so um, that like moment of them sitting around a campfire and sharing stories, just sort of being there for each other, like a, a witch, like witches and women and coven should be. It was great. Focus on quickly just with Tina and Agatha. Her, uh, her, her being that actually worried for him when everything happened was a change. Again, you've seen it in bits and pieces, but I guess physically, a physical harm and death to him is that she's worried. But then like little things like, can he, can, can I have a drink? And he's, she's like, sure, that's not bad. That doesn't bother her, which is absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, but a moment of, you know, just make sure you're okay. Uh, did you put the thing on it? I love that. I love that as well as that, even the witch that placed it, won't won't be able to hear it so it it it's imperfect so it, it this this sigils sorry this sigil could be anyone's that anyone that placed it and no one will really know uh until then it's it that it's what was it again it what it's not um until it's no longer needed so it's like so i guess again great little thing is like sort of like we don't need to know who you were you get this backstory to know who you are it's a great time but yeah until it's no longer needed so I guess we'll, at one point, who he is won't matter, and then we'll find out who he actually is. And then it will matter. Um, him asking, it like, you know, what happened to Nikki? And then her, like, you over-fucking-stepped. Walked away. He knows. He, that he, he, there was a big old bugaboo there. But, yeah. Coming back to the actual campfire, but the story's been told again. Really enjoyed the moment with Alice. 
like her her um that's sort of like confirmation our mom like was was just looking after her after all this time um that we little story that Agatha told just to set, show the camaraderie around a group and then Rio I thought Rio was going in like oh I don't like this uh, the fact she's got this but it seemed like it was just a attempt to be able to let her and every, well everyone to express everyone express that they tell everyone a story but really it's to let Agatha know she's pretty much sorry about it all um but yeah so it, it looks like she had something to do I'd imagine with something that affected Agatha a lot whether that's to do with her coven years ago whether that's to do with Nikki I'm not too certain just yet I'd imagine if it's that for Agatha I'd imagine it might be seen maybe to do with Nikki maybe she has some hand to play in that I don't know uh, but again that moment with her telling her just wanting to know he's not yours like again you get the confirmation is that could be her line for we know but I get the fact I like the fact that four episodes in it is like a that little seed of like possibility was dropped in on episode three about like she wouldn't even recognize her own son or child and then bam it's like people are probably hypo- uh, like you know hypothesizing just just queer uh, questioning or theorizing there we go that could be you know he could be it and then it's like no it's not so good there but again that little moment of it being very much there the forefront will they won't be love hate etc etc go like a lot of touching feeling going in for the kiss then turn away walking away it was a, a not an ending i expected like to be then and there i thought we we're going to get a little bit more of a cliffhanger i guess that but also was expecting sharon but yeah but overall really 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 well again too many reasons here i was i was happy with that episode so yeah it was good I'm wonder, I'll, I'll mention, I think that the the second performance of this is probably going to wind people up more. As in, like, of this song, will wind up people more on the internet more than the first one did. Just for the set the line, design, the uh, the uh, the costumes, the lighting, the area. I think that's going to wind them up. I can't wait for Twitter. They're going to fucking hate it. It's going to be beautiful. Well, they're... they're their their annoyed self is going to be beautiful. Not what they're saying. They're not bad for it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But uh, yeah, overall, guys, I really enjoyed that episode. So uh, I am going to leave there. So if you liked the video, please like the video. Comment down below what you think of this episode. Um, what do you think of uh of Rio and Agatha's re- like relationship in this episode? The tension. Uh, what do you think of Sharon not being back? Uh. What do you think of the second performance? You prefer the first song or ver- version of it or this version? Do you think that we th- they could have done better with the curse? I personally think we could have been more spooky with it. But, you know, yeah. But anything you want to talk about, let me know. Comment down below. If you like these subs of videos, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Get a notification every time I upload. A bunch of other videos around here to do me and other people. I do uh, reactions to other stuff. Uh, for example, um, I, well, I do reactions to... Um, Agatha all, all along, but I also do reactions to MCU, uh, well, the TV shows since Moon Knight, I've done reactions to, but also do reactions to the films Phase 1 to 3, The Infinity Saga. I've done those, those with my mate Josh. Uh, more recently, I did reactions to uh, House of the Dragon Season 2, The Boys Season 4, The Umbrella Academy Season 4. Uh, I've done uh, reactions to um, uh, Doctor Who. Uh, I did uh, Shooty's first season, but I also do reactions to Doctor Who with my little brother Charlie. Uh, we're on David Tennant's second season. He's currently with Martha. We're releasing them every two weeks on Saturdays. And uh, at the moment, I'm doing reactions to... Well, I did reactions to Star Wars uh, um, Rebels, uh, Star Wars The Acolyte recently, but I'm currently doing Tales of the Jedi and Tales of the Empire, followed by The Bad Bit Batch. And I'm also doing reactions to The Rings of Power, which I'm watching after this, which finishes, oh my God, uh, as well as also The Penguin, and I guess other things as well. So if anything last sounds like a secret fancy, guys, like, subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz. But thank you again for watching. And I'll see you out there. I forgot I had the pint in my hand. I honestly forgot. I was going to have a sip during it. And then I forgot. And Okay, drink. God, that's good.